Hey, surveys! Welcome back to K Popsicles. I am Peach. I'm Kate. And we have a cat between us. <laughs> Phoenix is joining us as always. Um, but yeah, we are back, guys, making our way through our huge list of new comebacks and new releases as always. Up next, we have the long awaited return of some kings of K pop. And that is the group Infinite and their newest comeback, their their return with new emotions. It literally just dropped like yesterday. Like yesterday. I think yeah. Yesterday. Like, oh my lord, I'm so excited. If you guys don't know, um, we have checked out a couple of their um some of the members solo work here on the channel. But if you guys didn't know, I am a huge Infinite stan. I absolutely love these boys. Um, I listen to them. I like I literally was listening to their songs. Earlier this morning, I think, and yesterday. Like, I've been listening to it. Like, like I love their music. Um, my original bias in the group was Hoya. Unfortunately, he left the group. Um, but Song Kyu is my current bias right now. I love him. <laughs> I love the whole group, let's be honest. But, uh, yeah, Song Kyu is my current bias. So, I'm kind of scared, but also really excited. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I don't know what to expect. Other than greatness. <laughs> Um, so Kate had, like, which I, I know I, two songs. I literally was I just so surprised. Names, but I never really listened to them or got into them. <laughs> she officially knows that she knows two songs. She has heard the other songs in my car. She just didn't know it was Infinite. Um, but she does not remember them because unless she if heard them. Names. Yeah. If she knew names or if she heard them, she'd be like, oh yeah, I've heard this. I'm like, yes, <laughs> you have. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... We're going to be doing a deep dive into Infinite at some point soon, too, so that we can go over all the songs that I know she has heard in my car, she just mm -hmm. does not remember hearing, <laughs> and she can watch some music videos, and yes. so she can get a better look at Sorry, Infinite. Phoenix, I gotta get more comfy. I mean, heck, one of their, their debut song is one of my favorite concepts, because it's so dark. <laughs> I was like, mm -hmm. whoa. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> this is not about their debut. This is about their comeback, and I'm so excited. Unfortunately, there are no captions, but that is okay. That is just a live international stand. It happens to us literally all the time. But yeah. Before we jump in, we're going to leave a link to our Patreon down below in the description box. So we hope you can over check us out. We do live stages, drum reactions, variety shows, dance practices. You can join our Discord. Basically, everything you can do here on YouTube. We also post free videos over there for you guys are boxed on our channel. Because we're not going to make payments to free. That's just stupid. Speaking of our Patreon, we're currently watching Run BTS. Uh, we'll be starting Boys Planet very soon. The Isaacs, Strongman the Bong Soon, uh, Got Someone's Hard Carry, I've Mind Summit called Pint Size Retro Dramas on my own, I am currently watching True Beauty. Uh, we have movie reactions, album reviews, so much fun content going on over there. Uh, we've also been pre-filming a ton of stuff since we've been in comeback season, and so we have a lot more content coming. And if you don't follow us over on Twitter, I'm going to be on screen, we post every single day over the video dropping season stay up to date we're doing here on our channel. Alright, you ready? I'm ready. Let's pop this up. I'm so excited. Here is Infinite. New emotions. You got, you got, got me tripping, stuck in the emotion. I can't kick it up. I just like elbowed the cat. <gasps> That's my boy. Oh. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Hi, Magne. They're all very pretty. They are. <laughs> Him. He's the one with that song. Mm. Okay, sir. Ooh. That's like silver brownish hair on him. It looks nice. Is it just me or is this bringing back second gen vibes? It's giving me huge second gen vibes. I mean, granted, they are second gen group, but. <laughs> but, like, with the styling and the, like, the video itself. Yes! They're bringing back the infinite. They always did insane music videos. Sir. Sir. Ugh. 
I love the blue teal hair too. <sighs> Stop having such nice hair. Ooh, those red shirts. It kind of matches my name with little strings. <laughs> Ooh, in the black and white? I love how this sound is still like when I'm mature. Yeah! <sighs> I mean, Infinite were known for their, you know, in sync dances and live vocals, so. <laughs> yes! I'm feeling so much nostalgia right now! Can't be over. No! That was so short. <laughs> so short. You have infinite cup. No, whoops. <laughs> no, 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 no. You accidentally clicked on another. <laughs> they broke me. I'm clicking things I shouldn't be clicking. I'm sorry. The fan made it visualize. <laughs> that was not what I was trying to do. Wow. Um, yeah, no, that was, like, it was way too short. <laughs> Oh my lord. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I'm pulling up the profile so that Kate can see all the members here. And put names to faces. Yes. Because <laughs> she only knows, like, two members. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright. Dongu. That's the one that has the song that you like. Okay. You're like Dong something. I you know. Part, right? I was like, I'm like, I know his name, but it's, for some reason, it's off the tip of my tongue. I cannot remember names right now. Wow. On May 6th, it was announced that Infinite had signed to Infinite Company. Yes. Or did they, they create? <laughs> they created it, and then um, they all, like, the group signed as a whole, and basically uh, Ulim just transferred all the rights and stuff to their name and everything over. Wow. Oh, yeah, no. They, like, their company, like, they love... Well, they have a so really nice good relationship, yeah. Everything. The CEO loves them. Like, there was a whole article about it, like, how, like, the good relationship between the CEO and Infinite and stuff, and he just, like, as a gift, gave them the rights. That's so nice of him. Right? I was like, for once we hear good things about a company. Right. <laughs> anyway, back to Infinite. Um, currently consists of six members. Sungkyu, Dongwoo, Woohyun, Sungyeol, L, and Sungjong. Um, on August 30th, 2017, Hoya left Infinite. Right. They debuted in 2010 under Ulim, and then on May 6, 2023, they had created their own company. You've been around for forever. Yes. Like I said, uh, 13. This is their 13th anniversary. So, like I said, I've been a, I've been a fan of for a while. Like, they were probably one of the, they were part of that, like, five or six groups that I got into, like, right after BTS. Mm -hmm. That I was like, I wasn't going too far outside. I was like, oh, I'm not going to dive too deep into the groups yet, but I was like, I love But you need Infinite. some exploration. Yes, Infinite was definitely one of them, and I'm like, yes, I love them. Thank you. Thank this is my current bias. Hi. <laughs> He's our leader and main vocalist. His nicknames are Grandpa, Leader, Hamster, Cool Q, PGG. <laughs> yes, 1989. <laughs> we got some old boys, <laughs> mature boys. <laughs> uh, he was born in North Jola. Uh, he was in a school band. He majored in applied music along with Hoya Ellen's Sangyo. He's the fast member who learned the Scorpion dance, which is part of the uh, Before the Dawn. I know exactly what dance it is, too. Where, you know, like how they go down and come back up, yeah. Scorpion. Yeah. They literally all do it at once in Before the Dawn dance practice and come back up. It's amazing. That's crazy. It is awesome. And they do it in a circle, so it's like they're all like a whole circle. It's, <laughs> it's one of my favorites. <laughs> Like I said, you can tell I've been a fan for a while because I know exactly what dance it's from. <laughs> um, he auditioned two times for SM Entertainment but was rejected, which is insane. How Have you heard his them. vocals? Hello. And then he also debuted in 2012 as a solo singer. Um, he's friends with Highlights Jun Young, Kim Min Suk, and Leo from Vix. Um, yep, he was discharged in 2020. Currently managed by Double H, and then... He's the representative of Infinite Company. So, not necessarily CEO, but the representative. Interesting. Or is that what he's just calling it now, instead of CEO? Maybe he's, like, PR person. Maybe. Or, like, face of the company yeah. or something. Like, you know, like, the face of the group. Mm -hmm. Dongle! Yes! Our blue-haired boy. So, she... 
showed me this song by Dong Dongu and like I got hooked on it. She goes, "You're gonna love this song." And so she listened to it all the time. I had no clue he was a member of Infinite. Yep. <laughs> she just knew him as a solo artist. <laughs> no clue whatsoever. Oh my goodness. Yes, he's our main rapper, main dancer, dancer, main dancer, <laughs> main dancer and vocalist. Thank Dinosaur, you. monkey boy, mother of infinite, smile man. And he's November baby. Why does smile man sound like a bad creepy pasta? <laughs> it actually does. Oh my god. It's like the whole Florida man thing. It's his like, birthday oh is five days away from yours. I know he's six years older, but his birthday is five days before mine. So. Like I said, Sag. <laughs> um, he was also part of Infinite H, which was Dong Wu and Hoya. Um, he used, his sister used to be a dancer. He's got an octopus restaurant. And he was also trained under JYP for years. He's a school made of Shaman. Shaman! Uh, he wants to do it with Yosub. I mean, that would be an amazing duet. He's an official registered songwriter with uh, Kanka. Uh, he likes to bring useless stuff in his bag because he thinks it would be useful at another time. I mean, accurate. He made a solo debut um, with the mini album in 2019. Yep. Managed by Big Boss Entertainment. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, Yeah. He looks so soft. I know, right? <laughs> he looks so good. Main vocalist, lead dancer, Namu, Namstar, Nam, Nam Grease. Grease. He has the same birthday as my mom. Ayy. February 8th. 91, baby. Uh, his brother's Boo Hyun. <laughs> He's Boo Hyun and Boo Hyun. <laughs> the parents wanted him to match. Um, Stevie Wonder is his hero. I mean, hey. It's interesting, though, that like his hero is... Not a, another K-pop idol. I mean, we've seen some other artists do that, too, so... But it's really... I mean, Stevie Wonder is, like, a legend, so, I mean, it would make mm -hmm. sense. <laughs> the members call him Chef. Uh, da, 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 he was da. in a Dewey unit called Two Heart with Key. Yes. Yes. Um, I forgot about that one. Yeah, so that is another one we gotta look into, that mm -hmm. subunit, especially because Key is your bias, so... I know. <laughs> Um, and he was also part of the subunit Dramatic Blue with Joe Kwan, Yosub, uh, Gio, and Neil. Neil! And we love Neil. We love Neil. Um, I know Joe Kwan, and obviously I love Yosub as well, so, um. Yeah, I know the other two, too. I know I, Gio. I don't know which member Gio is, but I do know M Black, at least one or two of their songs. I know the name. Yes. <laughs> um, he also made his solo debut in 2016, um... He got discharged in 2021. Next up is Sungyo. Hello, sir. Um, this is Dale's brother. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> this is his brother. Uh, e Sungyo, vocalist, lead rapper. Kindergarten boy. <laughs> also 90, uh, 91. He's the end of August. And he's in the infinite F subunit. Stands for face. Um, yep, has a younger brother named Dale, who's a member of Goldchild. We he love Goldchild. He was going to be an actor. <laughs> Yes. Uh... <laughs> I don't like you. Then, of course, I go, I don't like you either. <laughs> That's what Elle says. <laughs> Aw, he's competitive in games. He has oh. dyslexia. Both of them have dyslexia. Oh, wow. Tunkats. A. He's a crush on Taeyeon. I mean, who, who doesn't? doesn't? <laughs> right? <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm like, who doesn't? <laughs> And he also acted in the web drama Love for Ten, Generation Love. He's in a horror movie. <gasps> we gotta watch it. And he was discharged in 2020. He's currently managed Management with Ming Su. Gotcha. Oh, This is our boy. This is the other, other member that you knew. At least by name. I knew the name. <laughs> and then big surprise, he's the one who stood out to me in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Vocalist, visual, face of the group. Yep. Um... He is also uh, the one that everybody refers to as the twin or the father of uh, Juno from Drippin, who is also under the company um, because they are literally like they look like they could they're, be related. They're literally the same person. They they you look so like. You haven't seen them in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was watching a TikTok the other day and they had like they're like the father and then the son right after. And they're like, are they the same people? I was like, no, it's they two different people. They gotta choose like a third person to be the Holy Spirit, the oh father, God. the son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> 
Oh my we god. gotta find a third idol who looks just like Ellen Junho. We gotta, guys, that's a mission. We that's gotta find challenge. it. You gotta find a third idol who looks like them. Do it. <laughs> His nicknames are Cold City Man in the center, 92 Liner. He's born in Seoul. Yeah, your brother named Moonsu. Moonsu. His hair is naturally curly and frizzy. Favorite color is black. He thinks I that mean, out of all animals, he resembles a hippopotamus. Maybe because he's always hungry. Hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> he says he does not like Young although they always do fan service together. <laughs> uh, he was a voice actor for Welcome to the Convenience Store. He likes straight manga. He's a weeb. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you and the weebs. I know. <laughs> if it's not me and it the- was and now it's L. You and the weebs, me and the other, and the tie members. Like, it's just like, hey. Um. He would become a photographer if he wasn't a singer. Okay. Yes, um, so yeah, he was one of the first members to leave, I believe. Um. He debuted as a soloist in 2021. And then. Obviously, he's out now. <laughs> it hasn't updated that, you know, he was released from his military service, but he has. And then Sung Jong, our Magne, Magne, Magne Nim, Diva, Diva beautiful, beautiful Man, name. and Jong. 93 liner. It's nice seeing a group where they're all older than us. I know, right? <laughs> There's only a handful that are still active that are older than us. <laughs> um, he loves Michael Jackson. I mean, yes. Um, he's the best at girl group dances, yes. He's ambidextrous. Uh, in 2021 he was discharged and then of course former member is Hoya who was my bias originally um, main dancer, lead rapper, vocalist yes. Ho God, Ho Baby Dance Machine, Multiplayer, another Ho Baby yep one with the capital one without and he's a Busan boy <laughs> yeah <laughs> you and the Busan me of and <laughs> So I think it's like it switched a lot of times too. Yeah, it doesn't matter like which one of us gets attacked by it. It's just always either Busan or Daegu. It's always those two. It's crazy. Um. Yep yeah, he he left and he signed with another company. Glorious um, Entertainment. Yeah, cause he left back in twenty seventeen. So. Um. Yes, hip hop and street dancer. He was also on the show. Um, high school, high school dancer or something like that, or, it's one of the survival shows and he was mm -hmm. a coach on there. He also participated on, um, Hit the Stage, Ooh, okay. which we have to watch that as well. Um, and he shows off his dance skills there as well. So, um, yeah, we have a lot of stuff and obviously, um... Even though he's no longer part of the group, we will be including him as well because we will be doing, like I said, a deep dive, mm -hmm. get to know all the members, and he was once a part of the group. So he counts. Yes. <laughs> and he hasn't done anything to screw up his life or cause him to have any issues that we know of, so that's why we still include him. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you said um, L. L was definitely the one who stood yeah. out to you. <laughs> It's weird because he's like the only name I knew. He just didn't recognize face. Right. <laughs> it's really funny too. Um, Song Jong actually, um, you might have seen it. it. There's compilations, obviously, of funny videos. Um, poor Song Jong. He they went on Knowing Bros, and they were doing something with a soccer ball, <laughs> and he got hit multiple times. Oh no! <laughs> poor guy. He struggled. Uh, it was hilarious to watch, but I felt so bad for him. So that's a fun little fact. Um, like I said, when we get more into the group, when we start diving in, we'll watch more funny moments and stuff, and I'm sure that'll be in one of the <laughs> compilations we watch. Um, obviously, my guy, Sung Kyu, that's my bias. Um, but um, Mr. Sung Yul, obviously, I mean, we love Day Old too. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, yeah, Sung Yul is an issue. Um, Uy Hun was an issue, and of course, Dong Woo. Like, the entire group of problems, let's be honest. You're not wrong. <laughs> I got attacked by, like, literally all of them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, um, 
It's so funny, though, that the fact that you had no clue that he was a part I of know. Infinite, and you love that song. <laughs> It's like the song is like an EDM bob and you're like you're like, Oh my god, have you heard the song by this guy? And I'm like, No and you're like, You gotta listen to it and so I listened to it and this was several years ago and I listened to it all I the just time. just keep going all these years without knowledge. <laughs> she had no clue and I was like, You really never knew that <laughs> And you're like, Oh I'm like, Yeah, he's part of Infinite <laughs> Oh my god, I love them. I'm so glad they're officially back and now they're under their own company and I'm like, yes! But yeah, no, I was getting major nostalgia vibes. Like, it gave me huge second gen vibes. Major. I was like, is it just me? Because like, not only the sound, but the whole video aesthetic was 100% second gen. Because we don't gen. really get like suits No, anymore. not anymore. <laughs> but they were like huge in second gen. <laughs> And it's so funny because I'm like, yes, they are second gen, so it makes sense that we would get that vibe. But even a lot, a lot of like the first or of the second gen groups we've been seeing a lot more are doing a much more modern mm-hmm. vibes, and so it doesn't feel very second gen. But like with them, it felt very much second gen, and I'm like, yes, they're like, no, we're sticking with our concept. <laughs> well, it's awesome because, like I said back then, they were like, you know, one of the kings and one of the those groups that I was just like immediately drawn to, and their videos were always so. Um, like, their storylines were crazy. They always had really great, um, like, um, editing and stuff like that. It, they always had just really interesting videos. Mm-hmm. Um, the concepts are really cool. And so, I'm glad that even though it's, like, you know, it's their 13-year anniversary, basically, like, they've kept that. And I'm, I'm here for it. Plus, like I said, their in sync dancing is as amazing as always. And one thing about Infinite that they always had was in sync dancing and live vocals. Mm-hmm. Their vocals were always perfect. <laughs> and I'm like, yes. We need more live vocals in A hundred percent. I'm so glad they're back. Like I said, I can... a good song to come back with. Oh, heck yeah. I'm so sad it was so short. All these songs that are coming out are, like, so short lately, and it's like, but it's come like, on. like, this one we got was, like, 3.30, though. That one was I know, nice. that one was nice. But this is only, like, 2.30, I was like, come on, give me a little more. You gave me a tease. Just an extra 15 seconds would be great. <laughs> they gave me a tease, I want more. <laughs> but, yeah, no, we will 100% be diving more into Infinite. Like I said, I have a lot to catch Kate up on, because this is one of those groups that, like I said, I one of my few that I branched out from BTS when I first got into K-pop and I absolutely fell in love with Infinite and I think they were the only group from Woolen that I like really knew or like really paid attention to like even after Golden Child and Drip and all Mm -hmm. them came out and stuff like that I'm like the only group I really knew from Infinite was Woolen or (laughs) from Infinite was Woolen I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. From Woolen was infinite. There we go. It is 9 p.m. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, and then, like, we got to know Golden Child, and then we got to know Drippin, and so then I was like, now I can see how they've evolved and changed and stuff mm-hmm. like that, but I'm like, yep, I still love me some infinite. Mm. Even before I knew the group, I knew that uh, Sungyo's brother was in Golden Child, and I was like, hey, we have brothers in groups? Yes, I love when that happens. <laughs> and they were both originally under the same company. Mm-hmm. Which doesn't really happen a lot. No. So, it's nice to see that. I'm excited to check out more. Me too. Trust me, I will be trying my hardest not to fangirl and freak out when we watch their older videos, because I love them. And like I said, the concepts are awesome. <sighs> So excited. I have shown her at least one other video. I do not remember what video I have showed you. I don't either, but I know you've shown me a video. It might have been back or BTD. I think it was back. Was there fighting? Yeah. Yeah, that was back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was also BTD too, so I'm like, it could be either one, honestly. They have, it's, it's strange how much they fight in their videos. <laughs> they got a lot of pent-up aggression. <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty sure it was back though. Back just sounds right. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was back. Because BTD is much darker and more gritty and older. And I feel like back was one that I just like had shown you at the time. But it's been a while, so we'll be going over all of them all over again. So mm-hmm. it'll be fine. <laughs> Anything else you want to say for this one? 
No, I'm good. All right, guys. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did. Go give our boys infinite all the love and support they deserve because they are back and they are as amazing as always. Uh, we'll leave a link to our Patreon, Instagram, and our Twitter down below in the description box. We hope you come over and check us out. We really love us so much. Seriously, your support means the absolute, absolute world to us. Welcome to all of our new spaces. It's seriously amazing. We love you. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.